All right, let's read it out. The agent of your dreams is here ready to turn into nightmares. Patch 4.8 introduces the next initiator agent, Fade, to the roster. You get new tiers for this global blah, blah, blah. You know about Jet, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Fade is live. We know about that shit. Jet. The team loves what Jet con has continually brought to the fight, but as the game has evolved, some of her impact have pushed beyond what we think is healthy for the tactical promise of Valorant. Our update to Tailwind, which is the dash, aims to address these concerns while maintaining the aggressive side takes and all inspiring highlight plays Jet should bring to the roster. Okay. So, upon pressing E, we know about that. 750 milliseconds delay to activate it. So this is huge. Like, think about it this way. The average... Um, the average reaction time for Jet... Sorry, for, for players here, like, let's say, in lower ranks is going to be like 220 milliseconds. So literally, a player can react three times to you, like react three times to you before you will be able to dash after activating the E. You know? Um, Tailwind charge can still be regained with two kills, but there's a small change. So essentially, what you, what you can do is like you activate E, you have the 12 seconds cooldown, so you can kill someone dash away after killing someone and you will have one charge so you get you can still get another dash after getting one additional kill if you get two kills while the e is activated and you dash away after those two kills then you have a second dash so you could in theory i think dash twice in a row without pressing third time e but i'll have to um check that but i think this is possible actually um, to keep parity with the changes to jet dash, the functionality for dash during knife rounds is in escalation will be adjusted. Okay, no one cares. Neon. We've been keeping an eye on Neon that wanted to make some quality of life changes to help remove some friction when playing as or with Neon. Battery energy received upon killing an enemy increased... Oh, okay, so that's something that we, we have seen. This is a big buff to the ultimate and it's very nice because you're able to like chain your kills in, in with bigger like interval of time you know so that's very nice change that's that's pretty awesome high gear we've noticed neon has faced some friction when using movement to lead, lead into combat specifically fade inputs due to velocity restriction yeah that was a big problem for me like any kind of random shot on you through a smoke and you cannot slide and uh, you cannot glide you cannot slide essentially right so um those are those are gonna be good changes we hope these changes help with making her slide a lot more natural when engaging in fights which basically allows it allows it to be more consistent when engaging executes you know like a, like a dash jet dash she's not gonna be more reliable to do the same shit slide cannot be cast during equip delay okay interesting so you cannot slide when you're equipping a gun or equipping any utility so it's more it's less reactive okay so that that this is a nerf this this here is a nerf velocity restriction removed this is awesome this is a huge buff nothing will stop you from gliding so no traps no random shots and so on um neon can now slide sideways and forward and only requires that she's moving okay so sl uh, side sliding was always possible I wonder if this will remove her backsliding. We have to check this later in game. Energy drain increased from 6.7 to 10. Oh, okay, so that's a big nerf. You are able to run for 33% less time. That's a big nerf. That's a really big nerf. Also, because of that, your ultimate is shorter by 33%, but you get, if after getting a kill, you get the entire fuel count, so... Okay. For fast lane. So it wasn't a bug. Wall damage removed. This change is intended to push fast lane into a more attractive option for Neon or for an ally by preventing the disruptive portion of doing incidental damage and by adding a bit of safety moving forward. I don't get this because this is a huge nerf. I really don't, don't understand this. Like, um, there's no punishment by pushing fast lane now. Like, people will just go into you and that's it. They get no damage. So... Phantom is also nerfed on Neon, because whenever someone was peeking through a fast lane, they were getting 10 damage at least. So that's th this way your Phantom was one-tapping people. 
Um, so I don't understand this. This is a huge nerf. The damage was quite nice. I loved it. I loved the damage from from the fast lane because it made people not push it too much. You know, now there's no point. Like I think this is a huge nerf, and it's actually a bigger deal than this. Like I don't. I really dislike this. The velocity restriction means that you you can you can slide even if you're tagged or like trapped or something. At high level ranked or pro play, Sova has been staple for quite some time. While his power has not been felt as visceral as Jet, his impact and coordinated settings are nearly unmatched. We wanted to focus on addressing the amount of space that the Owl John practically guaranteed and introduce additional counterplay to opportunities for opponents. A reduced drone duration means Sova has to incur more risk in his positioning to clear deeper, deeper angles and the adjustment to ping reveal give opponents more opportunity to mix up their repositioning without feeling forced to completely exit the area. Shocktard has also taken a hit as we continue to sharpen the damage outputs on non-ultimate abilities so that they kill less frequently. So, this is interesting. This means... This is why the molly on Viper also got nerfed? But why then you don't... Like, I don't get this because... Alright, if abilities that you buy, you don't want you don't want them to kill people, then why does KO grenade and aftershock and other shit like that kill people? Is that does that mean that they will get a nerf on the damage as well? I don't know. That's that is a little bit awkward. I don't think damage has been removed for enemies. No, it did. Like, it literally says, wall damage removed. And in the game, it didn't deal damage to opponents. Um, Alright. Duration reduced from 10... It's actually 7 seconds, not 8? Fuck me, man. That's huge. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's 3 seconds. Holy shit. That is huge. And this is a huge nerf as well, because now three bullets from Vandal can destroy it, and three bullets from Phantom can destroy it. And two bullets from Sheriff. Two bullets from Sheriff destroyed the drone now. Huge nerf. Absolutely insane. And then the number of reveal pings reduced to two, and also you have 400 milliseconds more to reposition after you're getting tagged by the drone. Overall, the nerf on the drone, I think it's an overkill. And I think... If this is the case, the cost of the drone should be now back to 300. Like, this is overkill. And yes, one martial shot also destroys it. I think this is a huge overkill. I think what was needed is essentially those two. We didn't have to do any of those. And then it will be justified. And still a huge nerf. But everything combined, like, you either do this, only this, or only this. But not, a, not both at the same time. But yeah, quality of life. Change crosser color to green to better stand out against the white HUD, which is nice. Remove delay on target hit confirmation text, also nice, also nice. Uh, longer duration on the text. Adjusted audio on the drone dot hits for both Sova and the player hit to make confirmations more noticeable. That's nice. Fixed a bug with all drone where the dart cooldown UI element will not properly update after tagging an opponent. Okay. Max damage reduced for shock darts from 90 to 75. Radial damage has been scaled in accordance with the new max damage, which means I don't know why they're not transparent enough with this, because you can only assume what they mean by this. So just tell people like they're donkeys and explain the overall damage of the shock dart got reduced in accordance with the new max damage, because people will not understand what is, has been scaled. You know, like, I think th there needs to be, like, children will not understand this. They will think about, like, oh, what, do, what does that mean? And it needs to be very clear. Um, but in general, I think this is also an over nerf. I would like the shock that to be the way I thought it will be nerfed. So this is fine, but I wanted it to have less splash of fall off. So more consistent damage, higher, more consistent damage, but less high possibility. Right? So you deal an example 75 to 30 always. You know? 
I think Sova got over nerfed, but uh, yeah, he's still gonna be uh, he's still gonna be played on Breeze and on um, on on Icebox. Like you cannot really play without those. I think I, I don't think you can play those maps without Sova. Um, like Fade is not good enough to uh, to play on Breeze because the range is so limited. On an icebox, maybe, but I don't think it's that's that's uh, that is that flexible, you know. I don't think Sova's balance. I think he's now over nerfed uh, as a support character. It's it's gonna feel really bad to play Sova, like it's very similar to Viper. It just feels bad to play Viper now, so I'm not playing Viper. And this is even worse than the Viper nerf. This is literally like hard numbers nerf. My playstyle on Viper got nerfed because of the changes, but this is like literally. Every single Sova, whatever you're 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 doing in the game, you just got hard nerfed. Agent ability ammo, jet blade storms, raise showstopper, and Sova Hunters Fury will now show how much ammo they have left when equipped. Okay. Five stack Qs. Reduce rank rating, gain loss penalty for different five stack configurations. If everyone in your party is an iron diamond two, no RR penalty if within normal grouping. So within six ranks. Okay. 25% RR penalty for all players, and if any player falls outside of normal grouping. So if more than six ranks, uh, then you have 25% RR penalty, okay? So it's pretty nice to play five stacks then, in those ranks. If anyone in your part is diamond three, immortal three, but no, no, no one in your part is radiant, 25% penalty for all players. Okay. If anyone in your part is radiant... 75% penalty for all players. Eh? Oh, I don't like this. 25% penalty for Diamond 3 to Immortal 3? That is busted. That is busted. Because now you're able to play 5-stack at Diamond 3 to Immortal 3 and only not gain 25%. Like, you can literally boost people now to Immortal 3 with this change. I don't like this at all. You still gain 75%. Like, it should be 50%, 100%. I, I don't agree with this. I really don't agree with this. Because th there will be even more Immortal 3s now. And even more immortal players than before. Like, that's gonna inflate the ranks so much. 100% we're gonna get more players that should not be in immortal after this change. 100%. I mean, I would advise to play if you can play 5 stacks in Diamond 3 to Immortal 3. If anyone in your party is Radiant, 75% RR penalty for our players, which makes sense. Tuned matchmaking to reduce wait time for 5 stacks. I wonder by how much. Okay. Bugs. Fix a bug where Jet could find herself unable to use abilities or weapons when using Tailwind. Okay, we know about that. Fix a bug where Yoru could teleport out of bounds when using Gatecrash. Ooh. Never happened to me. Fix various exploits. Allowing Yoru to use weapons before full, fully decloaking at the end of his ultimate. So... Yeah. I was speaking with Raisu a lot about all of those animation cancels. Um, and, uh, yeah, so all of the, all of the animation cancels that we know now, they are fixed with the new patch, all of them, right? Maybe someone will come up with a new one. I will definitely not try to come up with a new one because I'll be trying out Fade. So in the first few days, I'm not going to play too much Yoru. I'm going to just be playing Fade. Um, so I'm not going to practice, like, trying to find another animation cancel. But at the same time, I'm almost certain... Mm -hmm that Yoru will be getting a buff to his ultimate at some point, because this shit is too weak. Mm. Fix a bug in the shooting range where bots would respawn unarmed. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Riot. Alright, overall, nice patch. I was expecting more changes, but overall, nice patch, and uh, hopefully... Um, I don't know. Hopefully a server buff in the future. Jet nerf is huge. Neon, I don't know about this fast lane. Like I don't like this at all. But overall, those, those are nice changes. And the game is. Be I'm looking forward to playing tomorrow because this is very refreshing.